Sometimes we need some dummy data for testing purpose. For example, you are creating an e-commerce application and you want some data like products and product detail, product price for your application. We have a library that can automate that process and it is called bogus in this tutorial we are going to generate lots of dummy data with bogus if you don't know me my name is Ravindra before moving further make sure to subscribe this channel like the video and leave a comment if there is any source code then link will be available in the description this video might be a little bit fast so pause the video whenever it is necessary so now let's get started first and foremost we need a console application so create one if you don't have any I already have created it now we need to install a library right click on the project select manage nuget packages go to browse tab search bogus and install it you can also check out the official documentation of bogus let's type here using bogus let's start with generating some random things create a void type static method generate random data there are three ways of generating data with bogus first one is using faker facade second one is using data sets and the last one is faker t inheritance we are using faker facade right now create an instance of faker class let's generate some random text we can use faker.lorem.text method to generate a random text to generate random number type here int random number equals to faker.random.int and pass 1 comma 100 to it it means we are generating a random number between 1 to 100 with faker.date.dot recent method we can get a random date and it will give us a recent date with figure dot name dot full name method we can get a name so let's print all of it call this method in the main method it is the output of the program if we run it again we will get different value let's comment this line so let's generate some other type of data for that we need a class so let's create a class order with properties order id item unit price and quantity now let's create a static method here inside it create an instance of faker class create an instance of order assign values to its properties figure.random.number will generate a random number between 1 to 100 we can use it as an order id with figure.commerce.product method we can get product name and with this method we can generate random number between 1 to 5 and use it as a quantity figure.commerce.price with range 10 to 100 can be assigned to price but it is a string type so we need to convert it to double so let's print the values call this method to main method and run this program we can do same thing with figure t class let's see how to do it but we need to comment these lines first create an instance of figure class but it will be strongly typed now and its type would be an order so type here dot strict mode and set it to false we are avoiding some strictness here this line configures a rule for generating a random value for the order id property of the order class the rule for method takes two parameters the first one is the property to which the rule applies in our case it is order id and second parameter is lambda expression defining how to generate the value with f dot random dot number method we can generate a random value between 1 to 100 in short we are generating order id here with the same logic we can generate item quantity and unit price the faker.generate method will generate order let's run the code and it is the output we are using rule for method for every property and we are repeating this process in every line we can avoid this repetition so comment these lines let's create an instance of faker t as previous one but instead of rules 4 now we will use rule method here it will take a lambda expression and here we have two parameters f is an instance of faker class and o is the instance of order with this we can generate order with this we can generate item with this we can generate quantity with this we can generate unit price everything else will be the same so let's run the program and it is the output let's generate some different kind of data but we need to comment this line first create a class person with properties first name last name gender email age and country create a static method to generate person data create an instance of faker class which is a type of person define some rules here f is the instance of faker class here and p is the instance of person class with f dot person dot first name we can get first name with f dot person dot last name we can get last name 
f dot person dot gender dot to string will give us the gender with f dot internet dot email method we can get email and we are passing here first name and last name as optional parameter so that we can get some relatable email address with f dot random dot number where we are passing 18 and 65 we will get a random number between 18 and 65 and it will be the age of person with f dot address dot country method we will get the country name let's type here where people equals to figure dot generate and we are passing 10 here and this 10 is indicating that we are generating here 10 records in the previous one we were not passing this argument there we were generating only one record but we can generate multiple records and we are generating 10 records here it means now this people variable is iterable so let's loop over people and print all its properties if we run the program we can see that we have all the 10 records generated by bogus library and it is that simple to generate the dummy data with bogus that's it for now see you next time